Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful flower ring with only seed beads. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you will know how to make it. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself like I have earrings and a bracelet matching this ring and I'll link them here at the eye icon and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and down there in description you will find a fast clip of this video where in only two three minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not or just enjoy the process of creation and this is on my second channel Bijutel fast clips and you could also subscribe there for inspiration and just to save time down there in description you will also find a full list of materials link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 on seed beads here i use monofilm and that's 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers they are not obligatory i use them only to go through the difficult beads and now i'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to take here are 12 beads and I'm alternating them one golden and one black. Okay and now I have 12 beads, 6 black and 6 golden, 12 in total and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread I will stick my needle in my mat and here I'm going to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and now I'm going to make one more knot and I pull again and now guys I have this now I will go through this black and through this golden bead here. I'm exiting out of this golden and I'm going to take two golden beads and I'm going back in circle through this golden. Okay, then I'm going in the next black one and in the next golden. I pull, take two golden beads again and I go back here through this golden and if you want to save time go through the next black and through the next golden and do this in one movement to be easier for you and I will continue take two more golden beads go back like this like I showed you before and pull and now do this three more times. Okay guys, now I have this. And what I want to do next is go through this golden. And then again through this golden in that direction. Okay. Now I'm exiting here and I want to take two golden beads and I'm going through the other golden one like this and pull and now I have this and now guys it's easier for me to flip my work it's not obligatory but I prefer to go in this direction and I'm going to take one black bead and I'm going here in this golden. Then I'm going to take two more goldens like this. And I'm going in the following golden. Take one black. Go in the next golden. Take two more golden beads. 
go in the following golden exiting of one of my goldens I'm going through the following take a black one go through the next golden that's on your way and then I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay, and pay attention where I'm going in my last row. Don't do the mistake to go through this golden, but go through this one that is closer to the center. And now I'm going through one of my goldens. I'm taking one golden bead, uh, one red bead, sorry. And I'm going through the following golden. Then I'm going to take two black beads two of them and I go through the next golden that's on my way filling the gap between my rows and here I take just one more red go here and in this row guys I'm going to continue this the same way Okay, and now I finish this row and now I think it's safe to cut my tail thread. Okay, and in my next step I'm going through this red bead here at the edge. And what I'm going to pick up is a red, a golden and a red. Okay, I have this and I'm going back in circle through this red one. Now I have this. And now I'm going to take a golden, two blacks and a golden, okay, and I'm going in the following red, just like this, and I take a red, a golden and a red, and I go back in circle through this red bead, just like this, then again a golden, two blacks, and a golden go through the red a red a golden and a red go back through the red one okay guys and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, and after I finish this row, what I'm going to do is go through all of those four beads here in this direction and I want to exit through this red one here. Now in my next step I need three red beads, okay I have them, and as I'm exiting from this red one I want to go through the other red. Okay. And when I pull, you see what I have, this bead pops up from this side. And then I go in the following two black beads, just like this. And I take three blacks. And I go back in circle through these two black beads, just like this. Then what I do is that I go through the golden and through the following red. 
Okay. And what I need are three red beads, just like this. And I go back here. And if you can, in one movement, go after this black one here. After the two black ones. Okay. And you see this pops up from this side. I need three beads. I go back just like this. Okay, and continue this until the end of this row. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind this video, see those two steps and repeat them here. And I will meet you here in a while. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads here. And if you see, my thread is almost over. That is why I want to make a knot. I want to cut it and then add a new thread. Okay, and how I uh, make a knot, I go here between two beads. I choose a place between two beads and I go once. And then I go second time through the loop here that I've made. Okay, and then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. And after I pull, I want to go through the following bead, just like this. And I want to cut this thread. Before you cut it, you could do more and more knots. And uh, eventually go through the following seed bead and cut it. And now, guys, here is where I'm going to attach my ring band. So this is the front part of my ring where those beads pop up. And I will start making my ring band from here. And in order to do this, I will take another half an arm span on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I have a new thread on my needle that is half an arm span and I will make my ring band band with it. Okay, and how I'm making my ring band. First of all, I want to go through, let's say, two beads and attach my new thread. Okay, here is my new thread. This is the tail thread. And here, what I want to do is make a loop and attach my new thread to my work. Okay, making a loop as I showed you before and I'm going twice here through this loop I've made and I pull and then I will cut this tail thread here and I will go from the other side of my work okay because this is where I'm going to start my ring band Okay, and now I'm here. I have here a golden, a black and a golden. And I'm going through those three beads here. Just like this. You see those, those golden, black, golden. I go through them. And here what I want to take are three black beads. Like this. Three red beads. And three black beads again. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And as I'm exiting from this golden black golden, I go back again through this golden black and golden. You see, I'm going back through them. And here, if it's difficult for you, use your pliers. Okay, guys, now I have this. You see, this is the beginning of my ring band. And now I will go through these three beads here. And I'm going to take just one black bead. Go back. Take one more black. And go through these three. Then again, you should go through these three beads here 
at your ring band and if it's difficult for you now is the time to use your pliers and in order to go one more time through them I'm going first through two of them and then through the last one okay now I have this and I'm going through these four beads like this now I have this and I'm going through these three red beads here and I'm going to take three black beads three red beads and three black beads again okay this is what I have on my needle and I'm going back through these three red okay now I have this it, and what I'm doing here is to go through these three black beads then I'm taking just one black go through these three red beads pull tight okay one more black go here and this time go through these four beads okay like this like this and then through these three okay then what you do is that you go from this side of this black bead and through these four in this direction okay and pull and now guys I'm going to repeat this step and this step until I have a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around my finger and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and as I continue beading I have a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around my finger and now what I want to do is attach it to the other part of my ring okay so this is the opposite part and these are the golden black and golden that I want to attach it to and in order to do this I'm going to take three black beads and I'm going here through this golden in this direction okay and I pull okay now I have this and I need to go through the next black and through the next golden okay and then what I need are three more black beads okay three more blacks and as I'm exiting from this golden here you see where I'm exiting out of I'm going through these red beads in this direction okay now I'm going from this side of this black one and through the four black beads in this direction okay like this then what I want to do is go one more time through those three beads okay first I'm going through two of them and then through the third one because it's not easy to go through three of them at once okay now I have this 
and here what I might want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. You could go more reinforcement up and down, but now I'll show you the last knot. Okay, I'm here making a loop as I showed you twice before. And I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I pull. And after I pull, I go through the following seed bead just like this and then I cut my thread, okay? Okay guys, now my beaded ring, my flower beaded ring is ready. So if you like this ring and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done, like I have a tutorial for earrings and a bracelet with the same pattern but different colors and I'll link them here at the eye icon. And uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And something more I want to tell you is that down there in description you will find a short clip of this video where in only three minutes you will be able to see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not or just enjoy the process of creation. This is on my second channel Bijutel Fast Clips. So if you go down there in description you could click it and subscribe there just to save time in, for future projects. Down there you will also find a full list of materials, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.